We are in our little green room at Oxygen 2011. It's the final day. It's Sunday. It's uh, it's been been a great day so far. Uh, Church in Gordo, uh, Keen Healy and Gordo um, have dropped in. Um, great to see you guys. Um, for, firstly, I I did not know that you, you DJed. I know you DJed here last year. Is this kind of a is this kind of a seasonal thing for you? I'd imagine it would have to be. No, no. It's, uh, I do it all the time, messing around. You know, two of us are living together in Clontarf, and uh, if the deck set up in the house and stuff and and when we got the offer to do this again, it was a no-brainer, really. And how, have you been doing it for years? Who came? Yeah, who came well, up with well, the I've idea? Playing for like since I've been thirteen, fourteen. Uh, he just he, he got a set of decks for years ago and asked me to give him a hand setting them up. Like, we've known it since we were kids, so um, just gave him a hand setting them up. And kind of went from there. We just start messing around a bit more, and here we are now. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I went um, over yesterday, and I, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was there going, okay, this is going to be kind of classic rock thrown in or what, but it's pretty full on stuff. Like, I've, I've got to say, I felt a little bit out of place. As if a load of lads with their tops off, I wouldn't yeah. insult anyone by doing that. Like, the mirror, mirror takes offense enough. Um, but uh, a few lads in their Leinster jerseys as well. But a good crowd, it was a bit of a buzz, yeah? Yeah, it was brilliant. Way more people than expected. We were expecting literally to say about 50, like 50 or 100 people or whatever, like it was. I don't even know numbers wise, but it was. Fairly far back. <laughs> <laughs> what What about recording stuff? Or would you Would you do you go into studio at all, or, or what? We're, just, we're kind of messing around. We're trying to get into it now, but um, it takes a lot of time. Like it takes a lot of sitting in the studio for hours and hours. So uh, you never know. You might see stuff next year. It's, it's, it's an option. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the links between between rugby and music are kind of tenuous at best, I suppose. Like it, the first time I came across, I remember seeing Dennis Hickey DJing in Whelan's and just going, geez, he's really good. Then he came in, did a couple of shows on, um, on 2FM. Literally, he'd never done radio before and he came in and uh, he, he was really good. It just made me absolutely yeah, sick. Yeah. Have, <laughs> you, have, you, uh, have you any aspirations to do broadcasting or anything like that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, look, I, I, do, the, I do DJing because I like it. And it's more of a hobby now. Yeah, it's, it's a hobby that like kind of You've been given options like this to do and things like it's just worked out nicely, but uh, like I'd never, I'd never cancel an idea of not doing, of not doing it, you know. So uh, down the line, I might. Yeah. And who's the main? Who's the one who comes up with most of the ideas, or is it is it a very much a team thing between the two of you? Like, we'd be both on this. Like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? And like, we we we'll shoot it down straight away if it's crap. Like, you know that? No, no. But uh, no, like it works well. Like we both kind of into the same kind of music and. Uh, we just kind of he's, he's the mastermind, though. <laughs> You've sound, sound a bit hoarse there, like myself. Actually, yeah. have, you, have you had a good weekend? Kid? I've yeah. had an <laughs> unbelievable weekend. Yeah, it's Sunday now, so yeah. yeah, three or four days, heavy. Brilliant. Well, listen, lads, thanks a million for yeah, coming yeah, in. Best of luck in the World Cup and congratulations on the Heineken Cup as well. Thanks, William. I barely got my voice back from Cardiff, so there you go. <laughs> thanks a million, Cheers. guys. Joe's on um, on Two FM. Literally, he'd never done radio before, and he came in. And uh, he, he was really good. It just made me absolutely yeah, sick. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you uh, have you any aspirations to do broadcasting or anything like that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, look, I, I do the, I do the DJing because I like it. And it's more of a hobby now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a hobby that like kind of you've been given options like this to do and things like it's just worked out nicely. But uh, like I never I never can. Okay, this is going to be kind of classic rock thrown in or what? But it's pretty full on stuff. Like I've I've got to say I felt a little bit out of place. As if a load of lads with their tops off, I wouldn't yeah. insult anyone by doing that. Like the yeah. mirror <laughs> mirror takes offence enough. Um, but uh, a few lads in their Leinster jerseys as well. But a good crowd it was a bit of a buzz. Yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant. Like, way more people than expected. We were expecting literally to say about fifty, like fifty or hundred people or whatever. Like it was. Mm. I don't even know numbers wise, but it was. It's fairly far back. <laughs> <laughs> what What about recording stuff? Or would you Would you do you go into studio at all, or, or what? We're, just, we're kind of messing around. We're trying to get into it now, but um, it takes a lot of time. Like it takes a lot of sitting in the studio for hours and hours. So uh, you never know. You might see stuff next year. It's, it's, it's an option. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the links between between rugby and music are kind of tenuous at best, I suppose. Like it, the first time I came across, I remember seeing Dennis Hickey DJing in Whelan's and just going, geez, he's really good. Then he came in, did a couple of sh We are in our little green room at Oxygen 2011. It's the final day, it's Sunday. It's, uh, it's been, been a great day so far. Uh, Church and Gordo, uh, Keen Healy and Gordo um, have dropped in. Um, great to see you guys. Um, for, firstly, I, I did not know that you, you DJed. I know you DJed here last year. Is this, kind of a, is this kind of a seasonal thing for you? I'd imagine it would have to be. No, no, it's, uh, I do it all the time, messing around. You know, 
two of us are living together in Clontarf and uh, we have the deck set up in the house and stuff and then when we got the offer to do this again it was a no-brainer really. And how, have you been doing it for years? Who came, yeah, who came up with the I've idea? I've been playing for like since I've been 13, 14. Uh, he just he, he got a set of decks a few years ago and asked me to give him a hand setting them up. Like we've known it since we were kids, so um, just gave him a hand setting them up and kind of went from there. We just started messing around a bit more and here we are now. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I went um, over yesterday and I, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was there going,